another edition of You Know What. My dad is in the frame because my dad is visiting today. Hope everyone's good. Let's log on to my own chat here. We are live indeed. Hello everyone. Kyle, Absurd, Special Raptor, Kevin, Ryan, Stacy, Camille, Rudy. Not playing as much as I'd like, brother. Uh, Across the Spider-Verse was pretty awesome. How about those amazing designs? Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Good to be here. Hope everybody's good. What's up, Naved? Hello. Hey, Allison. Godspeed. Oh, is it super quiet again? Let's try that. Dad's in the secret chamber. You heard it here first. Uh oh. Whoops. So, I, uh, oh, Special Raptor, I want to talk about the Proco course, but I'm not sure what I'm allowed to talk to, about and what I'm not allowed to talk about. So I'm going to stay silent for now. Um, but thank you. This is this shirt awesome? Uh, this is by uh, a person known as Weapon Prime, and that's all I will say about that, because I want to make sure it stays relatively under the radar, so... Don't want him getting pinged. Awesome. Andy's been able to. Andy's been bitching Friday with D Dubs Live. Finally gets to catch one live. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, okay. So, I really wanted to do a, a Spider Punk drawing just for the heck of it right oh yeah rise of the beast was good what up tyler tyler crook in the house everyone say hello to tyler i don't know how to highlight somebody in the chat but welcome brother love your work of course you know that Love your magic cards that you've done in the past. Amazing. Any new stuff today, Daniel? When you say new stuff, what do you mean? What up, Katie? Hello, Victor. Charles. It's all done, Charles. The, the series is all finished. Can you tell I, I don't really know what I'm doing right now? Okay, okay. So the, my one complaint about Spider-Punk 
in this uh, in this movie, Spider Verse, is he's playing a Gibson, which I have no qualms with Gibson, but like that's not my personal preference. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, so we're just. I thought Spider uh, Spider Verse was great. I did not like the cliffhanger at the end. That's something that very much bothered me. Um, an incredible movie with an incredible story that has a very unsatisfying ending. Even if it's part of the trilogy, I'm sorry. It just bugs me. But man, so well designed. Matias did an amazing spider punk. Also, my favorite Spider-Man of all time is Ben Riley, the Ben Riley Spider-Man. So, Camille, that's amazing. I was very happy to hear that Poland was going to get a translation of "Do a Power Bomb." And to hear that they're going to do more stuff is even, that's, that's fantastic. Just bear with me, everyone. I realize this pose is a little crazy. S Special Raptor, I've been seeing some. Um, I try and stay off Instagram as much as possible, but every once in a while, of course, there is a gem. Creative Comic Productions, awesome, man. So glad. This is Spider-Verse fan art, Comer. Comer. When it when you run out of room, add more. <laughs> add more room. There's no rules when you're just sketching, so just do it.
big brain move, you know me. You know what, we're just gonna start going for it because I don't feel like messing around with the, the pencils a ton today. In fact, we're really gonna go for it and we're just gonna mess around. I'm really just trying to relax today. We got the Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Map. Gonna put that in a little bit of a ink well here. Let's see here. Get a crappy brush. And go to town. don't feel like messing around with the Pentel today. I'm also going to use a nip today because I just feel like it. When I was in Italy, I got all these like random nibs and I have no idea what they do. I'm pretty sure it was just like a tourist trap thing. Didn't care. Bought them. Just to give them a try. Let's do it up. I'm not sure what exactly this kind of nib is. Imbue nib people can it's pretty cool let's see what we got here I'm thinking about putting colors on it. I, I don't know how long the nib is going to take to dry. I'm trying to figure out where I put my big nib. My big uh, parallel pen, because that's what I really want to be using right now. But I have misplaced it. I can't quite find it right now. What else is new? Me not being able to find things.
just going to go with what I have right now. Did I put that? God. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. I found it. This is what I really want. It's not Deadpool, Dad. This is Spider Punk. From the new uh, Spider Verse movie. I haven't seen that. It's pretty good. I've been instructed uh, to. Uh... <laughs> to keep it cool. <laughs> it kind of looks like Deadpool coming in from the side. Okay. I guess I. I guess a little bit, yeah. Hey, yeah, thanks for that. What's what's this thing down here? It's a guitar amp, Dad. Kind of look like a, a car battery charger. I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know those? You guys see those things? They can like start a dead horse. They're like about the size of a small guitar amp. <laughs> it's important for uh, for the for the guys to hear some of this dialogue so they can see where your quirky side came from. Of course, father. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have people have um Friday with Dito's bingo. It's like if I drop something and can't find it. Yeah. If I just can't find something, period. Uh, if you show up, if one of my kids interrupts. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. Do they get a? Do, they, do you hand out prizes for the winners? You know, depending on whether they get all five boxes crossed. Uh, no, this is bragging rights only. <laughs> right. They're saying you should do voiceovers, Dad. Yeah. They, uh, I've thought about it because I, I, um, I love radio. You know, the today we have Daniel Warren Johnson live on D-dubs. The 101st edition. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that, uh, Con Conkammer says uh, I could do voiceover Murder Falcon. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Dan Wolf says every dad of an artist is the same. What's that? It's this dad. <laughs> it looks like a completely different thing. <laughs> Dan, that's pretty good. That's uh, that's very true. But let you know, let the record state that it goes the other way. You know, when I'm drawing engineering stuff, Dan, we go, "What's that?" And I go, "It's a uh, you know, blah blah blah." And he's like, "Yeah, okay, Dad, cool, whatever." <laughs> so <laughs> it crosses both ways. Allison said she can kind of see the car battery charger. Hey Scott, thanks. Thanks a lot for the uh, Father's Day wish. Wishes. Uh, Father's Day's coming up. 
It's coming up. Yeah, it's not it's not easy to be a good dad. There's not a whole bunch of good role models out there, so appreciate it. No, it's just so Dan did not say to like it yet, but I just liked it, so father's allowed to uh, ask the team to like the video. Oh yeah, you want to tell the people? Yeah, to hit the like button. Yep. What happens, uh, what's the YouTube algorithm where you, you get a certain number of likes? Where, how does that work? Honestly, Dad, I have no idea. People tell me to t tell people to do it, so I'm telling people to do it. grab like these different tools and you make them do stuff well I'm just having fun right now I yeah, it was still like that toothbrush I had a guy in uh, the engineering office once um, older older guy this is like 20 years ago and he broke his glasses and he had a uh, toothbrush you know one of the side pieces for the glasses broke so he like epoxy the toothbrush on the side of his glasses and there was actually the brush hanging out the side of his head and we were looking at him like just buy new glasses <laughs> like what's what the heck is you know is that a toothbrush in your head and he looks back at us like yeah so what's the problem like haven't you ever seen a toothbrush on glasses before every time I see a toothbrush used for something other than teeth it makes me think of that that's actually a really solid anecdote dad <laughs> YouTube's, Kyle says YouTube's own developers don't even know how the algorithms work. <laughs> I think, I think that's right. Yeah, totally. Uh, my guess, uh, Kyle, is you hit a certain number of likes and then they start putting ads before your videos. So I actually don't do that because I turned off monetization, so that ads won't play okay. during like the videos. Okay. Um, that that must do something to their algorithms for sure. Oh, yeah, it's like me not wanting to play the game, so they shut them down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just don't, I don't feel like playing the game. It's just the whole social media, YouTube, it just kind of bugs me, so I, I just don't. I've promised people that I will never ask anyone to subscribe. Nived, uh, yeah, I can probably do Optimus Prime's voice, but I'm not going to do that now. I can do that now. I'll start my own. YouTube channel where I like narrate Dan's comics. Um, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> He's gonna give a. Oh, who's the voice of Optimus Prime? Uh, Peter Cullen a run for his money. Peter Cullen. Cool. Jake Parker says social media is exhausting, and I agree with Jake Parker. Yeah. So I just <laughs> actively reject it as often as I can. Well, it, it also, though, allowed you to get your career started. It's true. Which is, you know, you kind of hit it. You were fortunate that you intersected at the right time because you came out with Space Mullet. And um, you were putting up, like, what, one or two pages a week? Uh, it was something like that. And that's how you got the word out. Like, if, if that didn't exist, like, if you had your own web page at the time forget if you were on Twitter but that's what allowed people to start to get to know you before you ever really printed anything it's true Jake Parker's in the chat everybody say hi to Jake Jake has an amazing um, oh, what's it called a newsletter that he puts out how often Jake like once a month twice a month Hey, Jake. Jake join his, join his the, newsletter. Check out his art. It's really amazing. Jake, stuff. what's the what's the topic of the newsletter? What do you what do you focus on? Uh, well, I'm going to answer for him because okay. he can, can only type. But 
Uh, it's like uh, it's like things that are inspiring him, things that he's working on at the current moment, uh, like ways to support him. But then he also just posts a lot of inspirational stuff and like quotes and things he's reading. And then uh, right. like art like that he's checking out and it's not just like comic book or illustration art it's like like architecture i always get something from it every every year every uh every time it comes in the, so five minute infusion of inspiration cool stuff that i that week that i want uh, he found that he wants to share jake that's awesome it's um uh... the you know one of the ways that i try to like stay super into things like i think i shared with you guys that i'm an engineer is i just try and continuously be inspired by stuff around me whatever it is sometimes it's cool architecture sometimes it's the flow of water you know sometimes it's some artwork or something in nature and just take a moment to reflect on it and allow it to sink in because you know every day there's like like today, for example, I was uh, I got off a red eye from Vancouver and I was working in the United Terminal at, at O'Hare, and I was you know had one of those windows where the planes were coming in and rolling out and just like seeing a plane like roll up right to the window, and then all the coordinated activity around that plane to unload it, you know, and then to refuel it and get it ready to take off. It was the coolest thing. Basically, if you weren't thankful you were alive before a Friday with D-Dubs, you're thankful now. Look out your window. Look at a squirrel. How amazing is that squirrel? Totally. <laughs> yeah. I, I think uh, thankfulness is is one of the keys to really being, really being joyful in life. So Rudy says, I'm a, am I an artist or a musician? You know, Rudy, I'm like, neither. I think I had, I had aspirations for both. I can't really, I can draw engineering stuff like buildings, you know, pipe galleries. When it comes to drawing something that's fluid or doesn't have hard edges, I completely lose it. Uh, from a musician standpoint, I did play the guitar for a few years and uh, clarinet harmonica but just not really good at either thing I totally enjoy both oh Proko's in the house Proko am I allowed to tell people about what's in my course is Proko the They're the company that I flew out to San Diego to film for for the Marvel thing. Oh, cool. Look at Allison says, I watched a squirrel steal a friend's bag one, bagel once. <laughs> That's really good. All the cool people, all, Proko, all the cool people, uh, all the cool people are at the Friday with d stream. <laughs> Somebody let Moleskin know that I can come and berate them for putting the manifesto in that sketchbook. Uh, okay, so, uh, the Proko, Proko thing, so they had me on, uh, at first as just kind of a general consultant to talk about uh, how to make comics in an, in an exciting way uh, with a, within the context of uh, like Marvel making like Marvel comics I kind of thought of it as like a, a Marvel a, a comics the Marvel way but the video version except I'm not Stanley <laughs> um, and I started with that and it was really fun we went back and forth on a bunch of ideas and then they asked me to do an environments lesson uh, and actually like come out and film an environments lesson and it was awesome. I had a really good time. Great people out there. And we did uh, like two days of filming, I think. 
where I uh, talked about a little bit about perspective, not like a super deep dive, but a deep dive enough to explain kind of my concepts and basically like what I do to try and make things come to life on the page environment wise. Um, so I won't lie. I mean, I picked some pretty vanilla stuff because uh, one thing I've always struggled with when it comes to uh, making comics is like making the normal scenes feel special uh, or like, you know, Scarlet Witch studying a book in a library. So I like drew Scarlet Witch like in a library and I, like not like specifically not punching anybody because <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, this is my ca stupid camera. So it's a lot of me trying to, which is a real struggle that like every single person who works on any comic indie comic, Marvel comic, DC comic, whatever, is going to struggle with, is making something feel dynamic, even though there's not necessarily anything, like, dynamic happening. I'm sorry, I'm trying to give a spiel on my webcam, it's just, it's still sinking. It's Dan, you were, you were filming for two days, so how many hours of uh, instructional videos does that turn out to be? Uh, it was like three lessons, so. Like an hour each? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly how long, because I didn't edit it. Oh, this lamp is dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. So frustrating. Carpets and books, yes. Yeah, it was really fun. I'm, I'm proud of it. Thank you, Proko, for having me on. So I don't actually think... I don't think I'm going to do color. Because... I, th I think it's just going to be a little too... Like, I've already used so much whiteout, and I've also used the Presto, uh, like, marker that I do for, like, black and white commissions and stuff when I'm traveling. Um, I found that if I try and color over it with that kind of thing, it will make the, uh, it'll just make everything run, and it will look very bad. There we go. You know, Allison, um... I think it's Allison. She's still she was still talking about uh, being in awe of squirrels. <laughs> yeah, right on. Dan Dan did a uh, when he was in college. He did a cartoon. Uh, this don't embarrass me now. What do you what, what is this the, comic? The cartoon that you did. It's public. It's out there. What comic? The one the one of the guy on the lawn tractor that gets attacked by the squirrels at North Park. Oh. And then he gets a piece of his you know like face torn off. Remember that? I used to draw comics for my uh, my college newspaper, the North Parker, and uh, the groundskeepers were uh, very often a subject of my wrath. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great drawing. <laughs> it's like the squirrels united and attacked the groundskeeper. <laughs> I mean, if you're not quirky, how do you do comics? Like you gotta, you gotta like, want to have fun and find humor and odd things to, to enjoy comics. I think. Well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely quirky. Hey, Dad, can you do me a huge favor? Sure. Can you get me a napkin? Yeah. Or like a paper towel? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Shit. Right here. Dad. Thanks, Dad.
Then can we tell them uh, where we're going tonight? Oh, sure. Um, so Dan, uh, Dan's mom and, uh, and I came into Chicago today. Uh, we're going to a uh, Nickel Creek concert tonight down at the uh, Salt Shed in Chicago. So we're, we're excited for that. Dan and I are both big fans. We have a, you know, the Venn diagram thing, you know, when they, <laughs> the diagrams cross over. Uh, they do cross. It's not a huge, huge, huge area, but Nickel Creek's one of the crossing points. So we're we're looking forward to that. Chris uh, Tiley's going to be there, right? He rejoined them. Oh yeah. I mean, if he's not there, I mean, he's like, like he's like part of the band. He's got to be there. Yeah. Thanks, absurd. Wow, we have 116 people watching right now. That's the most it's ever been. Really? It is. I mean, maybe because you crossed the 100 episode threshold. Maybe YouTube heard it's me talking about them. It's beginning now I don't like forward. social media, and they're like, come to the dark side. I'm sure it has nothing to do with me being here. Dad, uh, Dad, maybe, <laughs> maybe it does. Dad, <laughs> watch it. The only time I can ever crack a hundred is when my father is here telling jokes about the embarrassing comics I made in college. It's dad power. Amen. Yeah. Did I get wet out in my beard? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit on the right. Okay. If I hear wrong. Uh, no. A little bit. Wibbly. <laughs> Excuse me. Kevin says, uh, me and you should do a podcast, Dan. Well, we, we kind of did... Not a podcast, but we did the uh, Your Family Talks About Do a Powerbomb. Yeah. And that was, that was pretty good because he got Rachel, Mom, me, and even Fiona got on for a minute. I do have a podcast idea in the works, so and maybe you could be on it, Dad, for like an episode. You allowed to talk about the topic or not yet? Not ready for prime time? Well, I'd rather have a few episodes in the can before I talk big talk. Yeah. So, we do have a problem with this drawing. I have no idea. So he's playing a Jackson soloist, because of course he is. It's way better than Gibson. Sorry, Gibson. Um, Would he ever play a, uh, what is it, Collier? What's the name of it? A what, Dad? Uh, no. Collier, Collier. A Collings? Collings. Probably Collings not. is not very punk rock. You could play punk rock on it, but I think it costs a little too much money for me to put it on Spider Punk. <laughs> I feel like Spider Punk would look at the price tag and be like, that's not, that's that's immorally wrong. Probably smash it. <laughs> he probably would smash it. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, my, my beautiful guitar. <laughs> my beautiful, expensive guitar. One of, one of my favorite guitar scenes in the movies is when uh, Back to the Future, when Michael Jackson hooks up his guitar to uh, to the Doc's amp, and it like completely blows him across the room. Uh, Michael Jackson? Not Michael. Michael J. Fox. Michael, Michael J. Fox. Michael oh yeah. J. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the. Uh, Speaking of uh, being in awe of things, I don't know if anybody saw the commentary that was on, um, I think it's on Netflix or public TV. I can't remember which uh, stream streaming service, but it's basically an interview of uh, Michael J. Fox, you know, and his Parkinson's and how he lives with it. Oh, on Apple TV. Thanks, thanks Dan. Yeah, Apple. 
Did you see it then? No, I haven't yet. I thought, I thought it was really excellent. Super, uh, super um, thoughtful about you know his life and when you run into adversity, how do you deal with it? And you know how he maintains a tries to maintain a positive attitude despite the severity of his disability. Really cool show. There you go, guys. TV recommendations from Steven Johnson. <laughs> I think I, I, I guess I got to do like a, a podcast or something and say, you know, like like what's on my mind, you know, or you know, st stuff we can talk about. I would. I promise, if I ever do anything like that, it will never be. I am the father of Daniel Warren Johnson, so you need to pay attention to me. It better not. No. <laughs> so Dustin, Dustin saw it. Uh, he said it is great. Your dad had Parkinson's. It sounds like he maybe he's still not, not with you, Dustin. But so you kind of know firsthand. We ha we kind of have two parallel threads going. The uh, the comments on Spider Punk and the guitar, actually three. Allison with squirrels running up somebody's legs and then me uh, starting to uh, get serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got to figure out what I'm doing with this other arm because I have no idea. Special uh, Raptor, I see your comment there to see Dan draw. I agree. I think I've shared this with you guys before. Like, the way I see most people draw is they kind of like draw out a sketch and then they work on one part. Dan, watching Dan draw, his pencil just sort of dash, dashes around the page. Uh, it doesn't really stay in one place and finish a thing. It just kind of keeps dancing all over the place. So it, it's very kinetic and very, it almost kind of grows, comes out of the ether. And I shared with you, I think, on one of the previous episodes when he was a kid, he would wave his finger around in the air all the time. He was always drawing in the air. This is a famous Friday with D-Dub story now at this point. It's constantly. It wasn't like he did it once in a while. You were always doing it. it My like grandfather thought I was crazy. Well, that was because you were doing it while you were playing outfield. <laughs> and so I thought you were, like, chasing flies or something. But you did it all the time. You were always like sketching. Your finger was just dancing around, and it d it did just what you just what your pen does when you draw. Allison's still talking about squirrels and, and running up legs. Kyle, I think I'm going to be at New York Comic Con. Uh, but that's not for sure yet. I, I, I'll probably be there for like a few days. But I don't know if I'm going to be there the whole time. The, the Art Jedi has... Uh says he's watched um, he puts it on while he while he draws that's what a lot of people have said that's kind of cool well because what drawing can be an isolating thing because you're doing it alone so to have you know it's kind of like a group a group event you know where people drawing in parallel which is which is pretty cool Rudy, yeah, I agree. Engineers are artists. Um, you know, it's, in, it's interesting, though. Uh, you know, engineers are very used to working in plans, you know, top-down version of sections, you know, cut sections. So a good engineer can go from 2D to 3D instantly. But when you ask an engineer to kind of sketch out their ideas in a creative way, you know, more kinetically, 
like an artist does, a lot of engineers freeze up. They need guidance, you know, or they need somebody to show them how to do that. Yvette says, uh, Mr. Johnson, I'm trying to start a new short comic, and I was hoping to show you some finished pages of Heroes. I don't think he's talking about me, Dan. He's talking to me. He's talking. I think he's going to be at Heroes, right, Yvette? And I'm happy to do that. Allison, uh, can you imagine what's inside a squirrel brain? Like, <laughs> cross street. No, don't cross street. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. That's like the, um, that's like the, uh, far side, uh, the far side thing. Uh, when, uh, the, 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 the mantra, not, uh, squirrels say to themselves every morning, nuts, 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 get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, everyone, we are coming to the end of the time. Uh, this is wrapping up. I'm very happy with this drawing. So Dan, when you say you're you say that a lot, you're happy with the drawing. Tell tell us why. Like what is it about this drawing that makes you happy? Well, it was fun to draw. It looks good. What well, when you say looks good, what what is that what's the criteria you use to determine whether or not something looks good? It just looks good. Oh, it I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I don't think I'm going to get an answer, guys. <laughs> um. So I'll tell you what I what stands out to me: the separation of the the amp and then him overhead. I think is kind of powerful. The amp on an angle, you know, like so it's not straight. It's kind of like it's almost like sliding off the slope. Which I think is kind of cool. Uh, that's what stands out to me initially. And then the size of the boot is kind of cool. I like the grills on the amp and the, the writing on the amp with the little knobs. I love that detail that you put in the drawings. Sounds like an engineer. Yep. Yep. Alpha. Alpha level. Alpha. That's me. Engineering analysis of a drawing. There you go. I think that's pretty good for now. I'm happy with that a lot. I'm really happy with it. Yeah. And I've got the the war wounds to prove it. Yeah, how can you not when you use so much ink and so much whiteout? I mean, it's like inevitable, right? I guess so. So, Dan, where does a page like this go? Like when, like a randomly generated page? Do you? If I decide to sell it, I'll, I'll send it to Felix, and he'll uh, he'll he'll sell it eventually, but. I really like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it. So you created this whole thing on the podcast today, right? Yeah. Uh, the the uh, YouTube live, like basically in an hour while I was well, I was annoying you in the background. I mean, I guess that's true. Yes. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, if I imagine if I was to set out and draw that thing, that's a day at least, <laughs> and it would be. I can't imagine how incomplete it would be. Thank you, everyone, for being here. It's been amazing. Uh, thank my dad. Oh, they can't quite see you here. Uh, I don't even know. Don't worry, I'm going to figure out a better way to... This webcam is not... This situation is not good. As you can tell, it's all... You should see my studio right now. It's a mess. Thanks, everyone, for being here. See you next week. Uh, 
Oh gosh, next week. I don't know if I'm going to go live because I will be at Heroes Con. Uh, so uh, if you're going to be in North Carolina, sorry. If you're going to be at North Carolina this coming, not this weekend, but the next, uh, you should come see me in Charlotte. Uh, I'll be there with the Felix Comic Art crew. Maybe I'll go live if I can. Sometimes the internet's bad. We will see. Uh, yeah, we will enjoy our concert. Say bye, Dad. See you guys. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Oh, peace, everybody. Oh, like the video.